Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. A madness called the Countess. I... I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. Good morning. You're perky today. Sleep well? Yeah, I did. I've been thinking. Too much has happened for this to be mere coincidence. What do you mean? In the gallery, there was a painting. A painting of her. Really? I knew it looked familiar, but I didn't recognize it until now. What did it look like? Why don't we head over and you can take a look for yourself. You coming? Hold your horses, will you? I'm coming. Oh, hi again. Hi. You got home okay? I think Nish had to half carry you out of here. Was I that bad? Well, originally I thought I had bought too much wine. It turns out I didn't have to worry, so thanks. <laughs> uh, sure. No problem. Anyway, I have to go over some stuff. Feel free to look around. There. It's her. I knew it. Now look at that and tell me this isn't a coincidence. Stupid old hag. We'll find you. Just see if we don't. I'd better not touch it. Josie would get mad. It's just a lighthouse. I wonder which one. Definitely looks like the woman from the other night, but she looks sad. Hi, Josie? Yes? Hi, Josie. Can I talk to you for a bit more? I'm kind of swamped, but okay. I'd like to know more about that painting there. Oh, the Dark Lady. It's different than his other paintings. I'm worried the investors won't like it, but Claude insists. What do you want to know? You mentioned something about investors. Oh yes, the Meltzer Foundation. They paid for everything, the renovation, the lights, everything. I've got to pay them back eventually, of course, but still. What can you tell me about the Dark Lady? Well, it's different, isn't it? Claude's work is mostly abstract, but this is actually of a specific subject. Did Claude ever say why? No, but she's definitely striking. She strikes all right. I still got the scars. Claude gets weird when I ask who she is or why he put her in front of the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. I figure it's just one of those eccentric artist things. The Roosevelt Island Lighthouse, huh? It's been a while since I've been over there. Tell me about Claude. Oh, I found him on the street. Literally. He made his living painting street scenes and selling them to tourists. But he's too much of a genius for that. Don't you think so? Oh yes, definitely. See? I knew he was the right choice for this gallery. How much do these paintings cost? Oh, I can't reveal the prices until the public exhibit. But if you're interested in any of them, let me know. I'll discount it for you. Oh, no thanks. I'm not really in the market for any art right now. Translation, she can't afford it. Oh, all right. But if you change your mind, let me know. Where can I find Claude? Knowing him, he's probably preparing for tonight. Preparing? You know, glug glug. He's hitting the sauce. Ah. Uh. So, how's everything going? Oh, you know, busy busy. 
This is my first public opening. I want it to be just right. Thanks, Josie. I'd better get going. Sure, Rosangela. I'll see you at the opening tonight. I'm ready if you are. Yeah, sure. Yes. Hi, is this the Meltzer Foundation? Yes. Oh good. I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Paul, this one's for you. Hmm? Oh, sure thing. Come on over and step into my office. So, I'm Paul Meltzer, and my silent partner over there is my brother, Charlie. Rosangela Blackwell. A pleasure. So, what can we do for you? I was hoping to talk to you about what you do here. Really? Well, well, well. We're moving up in the world, Charlie. Uh-huh. So, Rosangela, you with a newspaper? I'm sort of freelance. Struggling, eh? Well, that's what the Melter Foundation is all about. Isn't that right, Charlie? Uh-huh. Well, ask away. I was wondering what you do here. You know, I wonder that myself. Hey, Charlie, what do we do here? We give away money, Paul. That's right. We're into private investments. We grant risk-free capital to struggling businesses. You really just give away money? Ha! <laughs> no, not exactly. It's about giving money away wisely. You heard the man. If you want the lowdown on what we do, just ask. Josie Park told me that you invested in her gallery. You know Josie. How's she doing? She's fine, I guess. We're both rooting for her, right, Charlie? Sure. Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Mm, no, sorry. Tell me more about the foundation. Let's say you have a brilliant idea for a business, but you've made some mistakes in the past. You've got bad credit or were in debt for a long time. No reputable bank in the country would give you a loan. Or if they did, they'd charge you a fortune in interest. But not us. We believe in a second chance. We'll loan you the money to kickstart your business in return for a share of the profits. If your business takes off, wonderful, we both win. If not, we're the one who pays for it. Your foundation is pretty generous. Well, we don't give money to just anybody. Charlie over there is in charge of separating the wheat from the chaff. When someone comes to us with their handout, Charlie does his research and makes sure that they are worth the risk. You wouldn't believe some of the bums we get in here. Anything else you can tell me about the foundation? I've given you the basic idea. There's nothing else really to tell you. Well, thanks for talking to me. I might be back later. 
Sure thing. Here, take my card. If you have any questions, just email. Oh, so you're on B-Mail too. <laughs> Is it everybody? Uh, did you see that chick walk? She waddles like a duck. Huh? Our reporter friend. She's kind of your type. What do you mean? Yeesh, Charlie. Come up for air. She walked right past your desk. I didn't see any duck. Never mind. Stay put, kid. I'm gonna snoop around. Hey, when are we going to get a real company email address? What's wrong with the one we've got? Oh, come on. B-mail? Who is going to take us seriously when we only got a B-mail account? It does the job. <sighs> At least we have a real internet connection. Although, I don't trust this wireless crap. These things are way beyond me. Of course it's safe. I just read online that they can give you cancer. It won't give you cancer, Paul. Then maybe you should sit next to it. Give it a rest, Paul. Does it want a hug? I can't stand this B-mail account. What's the problem now? I'm getting all sorts of spam. I got three from this Tomo person. Who the heck is Tomo? Just delete them, Paul. What the heck is that thing? Probably one of those computer things Red's always playing with. Doesn't it bother you that anybody with B-mail software can log into our email? Only if they have your password, Paul. Just don't tell anybody and you'll be fine. He seems pretty hard at work. Hey Charlie, did you turn on the AC? No, not me. Hey, when are we going to get a real company email address? What's wrong with the one we've got? Oh, come on. B-mail? Who is going to take us seriously when we only got a B-mail account? It does the job. <sighs> At least we have a real internet connection. Although, I don't trust this wireless crap. These things are way beyond me. Hey, Charlie. Is this wireless... Of course. I just read online. It won't give you... Then make... Give it a rest, Paul. These things are... He's reading a book called Best Accountant Practices, 4th Edition. Sounds thrilling. I can't stand this. What's the problem now? I'm getting all sorts of spam. Just delete. Hmm. <laughs> He's so engrossed in his book, he didn't even notice. Must be losing my touch. Doesn't it bother you that anybody with B-mail... Only if they have your... Just don't tell... I don't float through things unless I have to. I gotta keep some shred of dignity. Hey, when are we... What's wrong with the one we... Oh, come on. It does the job. <sighs> Is that battery parked down there? Hey, Charlie. Of course I do. It won't then give it a rest. I've got no idea. Hey, my internet just went down. Stupid wireless. It should come up again in a minute. Finally, the internet's back up. Hey, Charlie, what's that B-mail password again? Don't you remember anything? It's Tennis53. Just write it down. No way. Someone might find it. I can't stand this. What's... I'm just a... 